Can you just kind of log out? Hey, everybody. Listen, I'm telling you right now, we are excited tonight. I don't know what's going on, but I'm telling you right now, we have two amazing young people tonight. And I know that there's a reason why everything happens the way that it does. We got a thumbs up from the producer. So I'm here tonight to let you know we are back one more time. Inspiration with Troy Alexander one more time. We encourage you to never give up on your dream. And you know what my motto is, dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Tonight, we are excited to have two phenomenal guests. Stay connected with us, y'all. We on Facebook, Troy Alexander, Instagram, Inspiration with Troy Alexander, YouTube, huh? Inspiration with Troy. Oh, listen, Instagram, Pick by Design. <laughs> listen, I'll take pictures, y'all. Follow me at Pick by Design as well as Instagram and, and YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. I'm hearing the feedback from Facebook Live. Hold on one second. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you, Prince of Brazil, this is going to be a phenomenal broadcast. And I'm telling you right now, all these things happen for a reason. And I, that's right. That's right. Things happen we, for a reason. That's right. And, and we may not understand why everything is happening. Woo! Oh my goodness. Hold on, everybody. They do. They do. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. I don't I don't know, President Brazil, why why this is happening tonight, but but we're gonna continue on as best we can. Mm -hmm. and, uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you perfect. All right, all right. Well, listen, everybody, I'm telling you tonight, this is what this show is all about. This show is about encouraging other people to never give up on their dream. And no matter what situation or mountain you face, you can get over it. Listen, you can go around it, go under it, go over it. I'm telling you right now. But tonight, we are excited to have these phenomenal young people tonight, Christian and Brazil down. We still good? All right. We're still good, everybody. Listen, they are with auditory processing disorder and autism spectrum disorder. Brazil and Princeton are 12 year old twins from the Bronx who started their entrepreneur journey at the age of seven years of age, determined to make changes within their community by spreading their health and education initiative with the Water to Kids brand of water and publishing Dow Twins Kid friendly books. Connect with them on www.thedowtwins.com. Welcome, Princeton and Brazil. How are you tonight? Good. Great. Thank you great. so much for having us. Thank you for having us. Listen, we are so excited to have you on tonight. I don't know all the technical difficulty that was going mm -hmm. on and everything, but tonight, listen, we both know that we don't just stop, do we, twins? We keep on going, don't we? Yeah. Well, keep That's on going. right. That's right. We keep on pressing through. We keep on going and never giving up on Ozzy. Well, I got to ask you, because how, how were you always so positive in your videos, in your life experiences? Were you always so positive? Yes, we're always positive. But, you know, sometimes there could be a little ups and downs. But we always try to be positive and we always want to push other people to be positive, too. Well, I love it. I, I, I think it's amazing. I love your videos. When did you start doing videos? And, and why did you think it was so important to do these amazing videos? Well, we do Mike Monday, Wednesday Word, and we used to do, um, well, we do Flashback Friday. We do all that. And we used to do Wednesday Word, right? We do Mike Monday to uplift other kids that's feeling down or just... Or even adults, too. Yeah, even at kids and adults that are feeling down and just doubting yourself. We want to uplift them. And for one of the kids, we want to give them educational facts about water so they can stay healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. Well, I love it. I love it. it it's You all are so inspiring, so uplifting and amazing. You. Listen, y'all, watch their videos. The Dow Twins, I'm telling you, you will. if you're having a sad day, you will be uplifted, inspired, and just like, listen, I know I got this day because the Dow Twins, Prince of Brazil, they're telling me, go ahead and Listen, I got to ask you, when did you know that 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 you were so amazing to be able to and, and so confident to go on to interviews and videos, do all these amazing things? 
you know what? We wasn't really scared of the camera. We liked the camera. So when we were seven turning eight, we started in the business and we just kept going, kept going. And because of COVID, we had to stop that. But in business, you have to make changes. So we just started a new thing and keep going and keep going. Well, we have amazing things planned for that kid, though. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. We love it. We love it. Well, listen, I got to ask you because, again, you are so inspiring. Do you plan your videos? Do you plan all of this out or does it just happen? Um, for our Mindful Mondays, um, our Watermelon Wednesdays and Black, um, Flashback Fridays, well, you know, we have to plan, you know, we have to write it down and stuff. But like our energy, obviously we don't plan the energy. We just be happy. And we're all natural with the energy. But then for the Mindful Monday, you know, we have to plan that and stuff. But the energy is all pure natural. Yeah, I mean, your, your energy is out of this world. I mean, have you always been? I like so your energy even more. <laughs> your energy. Yes. Is top so. Yeah, it's always at the top. At like one hundred. Yep. Now, do you ever get like tired or like down at all? No, we just keep going. We, we don't get tired. We don't get down. Well, sometimes people have their ups and downs, right? But that that's normal. We're all humans. That's just normal, right? right? We get through that. We get through that. We just keep going. We keep going. We keep pushing. We do not stop. And our followers actually help with that. They're always um, inspiring us, you know. We love the comments. We love them. Exactly. They're so nice, nice in the comments. We love our followers so much. Wow. Wow. Listen, and I'm sure they love you all because you are so awesome and amazing. Okay. Listen, I wanted to ask, when, when you found out, when did you know what auditory processing disorder or autism spectrum disorder was? Like a few months after, we, well, not actually, not a few months. Um, we um we um well, we found out what it was when we decided we wanted to go open and speak to them about what we have, basically. So, not that long ago, we found out we're still, you know, still processing it. We still don't know exactly exactly what it means, but we have a pretty good idea of what we have. And since we have that, we bring awareness to it because we just want people to know that there's people out there that are different. They have they're different from other people or other kids you know so we want them to know that there's people out there that are different and don't judge them because we're all different in our own way we're like the we're like stars in the sky like the sun may be the biggest star and then the other ones they're, and they're smaller ones you know? yeah. yeah we're all different we all shine in our own way basically yep. wow i love it i love it well you all are stars listen i'm i'm saying that you're a bigger star to me <laughs> you are, you. You are, 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 are these shining stars that are just have no limit. I got where, where did your confidence come from? Well, our mom always used to push us to, and our dad too. Yeah, our dad and mom always push us to do something, they always push us to do this, push us to do that, push us to do that. So we always kept doing. We thought about it, let's, you know what, let's do it on our own. We don't need no one to push us anymore. Let's just keep doing it, let's do it on our own. Let's Wake up, we do this. Wake up, we do this. Wake up, we do this for our business. Wake up, we do this for our business. So, always doing that. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Well, listen, you keep doing what you're doing. You are changing the world. I love your message. Why do you, I think you said it earlier. Why do you want to keep telling your story? We want to keep telling your story so people know how, how our life story was, how we began and how we're going to end, you know, how, how, we started from this to that. How we started and how from we're going to leave our um, legacy. And you never know. We just want to inspire others. Well, you are doing that. You, yes, mm -hmm. you are inspiring the world. And I'm telling you, you are taking you. the world by storm. <laughs> Listen, we're glad. I, I bought, the, yeah, no, you are. You are. Yeah, and I got this book. Yeah. I got, Thank you so much for buying it. Yes. Look, we have it right here, actually. <laughs> they go with the shirt. Yes. I got mine too. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so 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 what inspired you to to create this uh wonderful book of trivia? Think think you're smarter than the Dow twins. Well, we created that because while we were in, while coronavirus was still happening and we were it was during COVID basically. During COVID, we thought of our idea because we know that 
kids were learning from home and they don't really like that. They like being in person more, learning at home. And we know learning from home is a little bit difficult because you're online behind the screen. You're not really talking to your friends. You can't really, you know, associate with them. You can't really be in the same circle, you know? Mm -hmm. So we thought of it. We were like, since kids are struggling, why don't we create a product, a learning tool that will help them get through what they're going So we thought about it. We're like, let's create a trivia book that's fun and you can learn at the same time. Wow. With flashcards, you can play the game with it too. So we thought about it. We're like, we might as well make a trivia book for kids. And, and flashcards. <laughs> and the flashcards. I love it. Yes. Well, I got my flashcard. I got my book. I'm telling you. And, and, and you can get it on what? The DowTwins.com? www.dowtwins.com. Right? Yep. Go to the dowtwins.com. Listen, these are entrepreneurs, everybody. They are 12 year old entrepreneurs that started their journey. Young advocates, young entrepreneurs, yes. young CEOs, authors, all of that. Yes, I love it. Listen, authors, entrepreneurs, everything. Yep. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. Thank and you. And listen, this broadcast, it didn't turn out the way because Somehow we were having some kind of technical yeah. difficulties, but you didn't give up hope. I didn't give up hope. So I'm going to okay. use this as an example yeah. that we keep going, don't we, person yeah. and Brazil? We don't yep. stop, right? We, we don't, don't stop. Let... Even if there's something going on with the internet, the connection, all that, we don't stop. We just keep going. It, ha it happened for a reason. Everything yeah. happened for a reason. Say it again, Brazil. Say it again. Everything happens for a reason. Yep. Yes, it does. Listen, I don't ever make a mistake on my opening, but I was hearing multiple sounds and things. I couldn't really hear you all that well, but guess what? We didn't give up. And so if there's something that, that's right. Listen, if there's something that we say on this show can uplift somebody, listen, I might fall down, but guess what? I'm getting up, y'all, right? Back up. Yep. That's right. You fall down and you get back up. You don't stop. Again, Brazil. You get back up and keep doing the thing. <laughs> Doing that's doing. right we fall down right. and we get back up again well listen i gotta ask you you, you again your story is amazing thank and you so you, much yes and you talked about how your mission is to remove the negative stigmas right yep. so individuals who learn differently why is that important to you you know we want to move all the negative stigma because we know there's kids out there like we said there's kids out there that learn different that have this that look different that have just some disabilities you know different disabilities and people bully them because they're different so we just want you to remove that stigma so everyone will know that there's kids out there that are different and they will treat them how they want to be treated you know treat people how you want to be treated and they'll be kind to you that, that's right yes they will you know, treat Yes. Even if yeah. even if you treat them kind and they don't treat you kind back, always treat them, still treat them kind because two yeah. wrongs don't equal a right. Wow. You heard it here first from Princeton and Brazil. Listen, two wrongs don't make a right. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. I got to ask you, did, have you ever went through any difficult moments where people treated you differently? And if yes, I mean, how did you handle that? Well, with the water... We, we we go to every single store, right? We, when we were 728 with the water, we started a water brand because we saw that a lot of the kids were being unhealthy and we wanted to provide a water that will make them drink more water and be healthy. So we went to every single, we went to stores near us and we we're like, can we put our water, our water bottle in your store? And some people said no, but it's okay because there's going to be a lot of people that will say no. But when Stacey on top, they'll be like, Please, can you please put my water in here? And they'll be yeah. begging you, begging you. That's right. Don't remind them of that time when they said no, and you'll say no too. You'd be like, do you remember? You said no. And now you want my water in here? Yeah. <laughs> now I get that out of here. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's right. They don't know. Listen, when they're turning down you, they're turning down a whole lot of stuff because yeah. you are determined. You never and I know love what it. happens in the future. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you, Brazil. Well, listen, I, I'm I, again, I'm so proud of you both. And you have your own water brand. What, uh, what, 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 what gave you the inspiration that you could do that? Um, well, basically, me and Prince were seven turning eight, and me and Prince were just sitting on the couch. And this then, was our first brand, first brand that we created. And then we were like in 
we were like, first. I don't know what grade we were in, but we were like in second grade or first. And then we were just sitting on the couch and we saw this um commercial pop up and it was this girl who was just kept on drinking juice. And then she changed her habits and then she started drinking water with fruit in it. So then I was like, you know, me and friends, we had to do something. So, you know, like, why don't we make a water brand? Like, not no regular water brand because, you know, like, there's millions of water brands out there. So we wanted to put a little cute like, logo on it. And we actually have it in our living room. But we don't sell that right now. But we have something amazing coming up with that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that, too. And we haven't stopped selling it because of coffee. You know, sometimes, and like I said, sometimes in the business, yes. you have to stop things. But you keep going and make new things. We have something planned for the water, so we want we do not want you guys to miss us. So just stay tuned. Are you really 12 years old? Because you sound like much, much older than 12. I'm just saying. Actually, I wish I was younger than 12. Well, yes, we are 12. <laughs> well, listen, I love it. And I love that you have something coming next, something after this, right? Thank you. I love that. Yes. Now, now, is there something oh. next? Huh? The problem solver. You see a problem, you create a solution. Yes, your problem. I love that. Your problem solvers. And I'm so grateful for you both because, listen, you are giving light to the world. You're giving hope. You're giving a smile. You're giving. And, and, and what I love about you, Brazil, even when Princeton couldn't come on and do a video, I think he was having some dental work or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, but, but you said, I'm still going to go forward and inspire the world. <laughs> How did you feel doing it by yourself? I mean, I didn't want to uh, let our followers down. And just because, you know, Princess' mouth was sore and I didn't want to let them down. So I said, why not? I would just do it by myself. And, you know, it will still be the same positivity without Princeton. And I'll bring the same exact energy and the same positivity and stuff to them, basically. She brings the same energy. When yes, we're she did. Yes. <laughs> yes. She brought the same energy by herself. And I love that because you're twins. You're twins, yeah. but, but, but still powerful as an individual. Yes. And I love that about you both, that, that you are both superheroes by yourself. And then together, you're even more powerful, which is amazing. But that's awesome. Awesome. And thank and you listen. so much for supporting our videos and stuff. We see you. Yeah. We see you liking it, commenting in it. And we just love when you guys do that so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Listen, y'all, follow them at the Dow Twins. Make sure you follow them. Follow him, too. Go follow him. <laughs> well, I and thank you. Oh, yeah. yes, and yes. Go, and it's at sure Big Budget. <laughs> I'm sure sorry, say it again. Huh? Make sure to go watch our show on Bronx Night. It comes yes. on every first Monday of the month at 4 p.m. And you can watch That's it on our YouTube channel, too. Dow Twins. D-O-W-E. Now, listen, y'all, follow them. <clears throat> Stay connected. Listen, Princeton and, and Brazil, what, what would you say to those who are, because this is, this is Autism Awareness Month, right? So, so what would you say to those who are, 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 are not as confident as you are? What would you say to them to encourage them and uplift them to say, you can do this? I would say, believe in yourself. Believe in your inner self because you are amazing. You are you. So just keep believing in yourself and just keep pushing. Do not doubt yourself because you love yourself. You love, you're supposed to love you. You're supposed to love yourself. So for who you people, are. Yeah, you're supposed to love yourself for who you are. So do not doubt yourself. Do not do, do not be negative. Be positive. And just uplift yourself. And trust me, you will you will be happy that you are being positive because you never know. It could lead you to the road of happiness and you could be successful. You never know what can happen in the future. There could be amazing things planned in the future. And if you get big and just keep moving forward, something good will happen in the future, you know? Wow. Everybody, you see why they're amazing? I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give them <laughs> an applause. We're going to, listen, I am, I am in awe. You are, are just so super. You're, you're phenomenal. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank you. And, and please continue to share your voice. Listen, and you all got style. Who, who, who is the stylist in the family? Because y'all got like, y'all be coordinating looks and all kind of, who, who is the real stylist in the family? The real stylist is our dad. He has like matching stuff. He has cool clothes, cool sneakers. He got a whole entire shelf of shoes. He got some really, really good style. 
we basically <laughs> get ourselves from our parents. Yeah. And then our mom is always on to make sure, you know, me and Prince are coordinating, like, you know, with the shirts Matching and stuff. Shirts, yeah. Always coordinating because we're twins, you know? Yes. Well, listen, I'm telling you. Well, shout out to, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, shout out to your dad. Shout out Thank to your you. mom for just doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job at, at yep. just uh, coordinating and styling. <laughs> so do you all do modeling? Um, well, we used to do modeling like a few years back. We did modeling and um, because of COVID, and then we actually started new things and we had other amazing things planned. So we kind of um, like back our way up from modeling and acting, but you never know what the future holds for you. And we may go back to modeling and stuff. And um, and so, acting. yeah, acting. We have, uh, I think we have a lot of good things for acting right now, and we have amazing things planned, and we're focusing on other things too right now. Wait a minute, now. Wait a minute. You all act too? Yeah, we did acting when we were younger, but we weren't. You know, we weren't. We were on big shows, but you know, we were like behind the cameras. You know, you know that type of stuff. But right now, we got so many amazing things planned, and you never know. We could have a good, good acting show. We actually produce our own show too. Listen, everybody, these are 12-year-old young people who are talking about producing their own show. I mean, they're talking about creating their own movie and television show. I love it, Prince. And our Zell. cartoon, too. We have a, oh, um, yes. we're actually in the process of making yes. a cartoon, too. I love it. I love, listen, I got to well, get your autograph. Yeah, we're already <laughs> producers because we've already produced our own show. So we're, we're, ahead, we're making Brazil. a new third show. Listen, I'm, I'm telling everybody, please stay connected with these amazing young people. They are going somewhere. I can't wait to see you on the red carpet. I can't wait to see you having an Academy Award. An Oscar, I'm excited to see good. you there. Yes. See you there. Yeah, listen, I want to be there taking your pictures on the red carpet. <laughs> yep. Of course. I want to see you taking a picture like. <laughs> everybody, listen, I'm telling you, listen, I am definitely going to have you back, Prince in Brazil, because again, I know that everything happens for a reason, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah, make sure that we bring you back on our show and, and all this uh, technology new stuff. And I don't know why it wasn't working, but there was a reason for it. And you know what I've learned, Prince in Brazil? Something is about timing. Maybe somebody would have missed something that you said had we started at that point in time. So I know there's a reason. It may not look like it's, listen, I, I talk about the seat all the time, right? So you might see only dirt, but the seed is still planted. There's something great still under the ground that's about to come out and be produced. I'm I, I thank you, President of Brazil. You are too are amazing doing movies. Well, listen, you should do modeling. You should because you both have style. You look thank great you. together. <laughs> I'm telling you, and I can't wait to take your pictures. So I'm looking forward to that one day. Of course, of course. Thank you so much. It, so was, listen, it was so great. No, awesome. Listen, I saw a picture of you on your Instagram where you were taking a picture with Damon John from the Shark Tank, right? Oh, and, yes. And, and what was that experience like? That experience, we love meeting famous people. We love meeting people that do business because we do business. Yes. It was an amazing experience. You know, we are, um, we are in the audience and he was just talking. We took some photos and we talked to him about our business. It was an amazing experience. And I can't wait to have other experiences like that too. With other wow. famous people. And they don't even have to be famous. I just want to have really good experience with other people too. With yes. business. Wow. Well, listen, I got to ask you because you're both so positive. Do, does, does anyone ever get down and the other lifts them up? And when, and so yeah, that's, that's that how it works. So if I'm down, this will lift me up. If Brazil's down, I'm down. And then you never know, you know, sometimes, you know, we may be arguing, but, you know, we do it in the fun of we're like, we're twins, we're siblings, and, you know, siblings argue, but we always lift each other back up, and we always end up laughing at the argument. Uh, wait a that. minute, wait a minute, Brazil, you were in prison to argue? Yes, every sibling argues, like, we will argue about the little basic things, and I'm, me and Prince will argue over winter, and winter is our dog, so we'd be like, hey, I want to winter first, but then right after the argument, we'd be like... <laughs> Why are we <laughs> arguing about that? Wow, wow. Listen, what what do you see in your future? I mean, do you see Oscars, Academy Awards? Do you see um what what do you see in your future? 
Well, in the future, we see our business being a household brand. We, we see us moving forward with new things, creating new things, becoming like multi-billionaires, having our own, making our business expand, having this and that store, having this and that big brand store, having this and having that. And getting big Oscars that we're walking down the runway, you know, our um, supporters cheering us on, you know, all the amazing things. But, you know, you got to work for it. Yeah, work yes. Hard for it, so. Like how yes. they always say, money don't grow on trees. Either way, you know, paper, paper is from trees, but you know, literally, money does not actually grow on trees. Really much. And things don't come to you; you have to come and get it. So. Yeah, you know, you got to work for it. You gotta work for it. You gotta work hard. Listen, Princeton and Brazil, you all should make a book of quotes. Oh, we're actually working on that. Actually, um, we have some positive affirmations, and we get them from our mind from Monday, and um. It's basically um, every week you have like a positive quote for the whole entire year, basically. I love it. And we're I working on it. other amazing books too. So I know you are. Yes. Oh my goodness. Listen, whatever I can do to support you and all that you're doing, <laughs> don't hesitate to call, send a message and let me know. But I'm definitely going to have you back on the show and kind of do the right opening. Hey, everybody, this is, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We're here one more time with the Dow Twins, Christian and Brazil. Yeah. Listen, I want to introduce you one more time. Listen, they are with auditory processing disorder and autism spectrum disorder, Brazil and Princeton. They are 12-year-old twins from the Bronx, y'all, the Bronx, huh, who started their entrepreneurial journey at the age of seven and determined to make changes within their community by spreading their health and education initiative with their Water to Kids brand of water. I, I said it. And publishing Dial Twin Kid Friendly Books. Well, listen, we are so proud of you. I got to ask you, there's just a few more things that I want to ask you. Um, um, is there a star or somebody that you have not met that you would like to meet in the entertainment industry or sports world or anybody like that? Yes. Um, well, with me, I want to meet um, Oprah Winfrey and I want to be on the Ellen Show. I want to meet a lot of people, actually. Oh, wow. And how about you, Princeton? Um, same people. Ellen, you know, <laughs> Jeff Benzel, a lot. I want to be on Shark Tank, too, you know. Yeah. We want to see a lot of shark people from Shark Tank. Wow. Ready? Got wow. one off the list. We got a few more to go, too. Yep. <laughs> well, I love it. Well, I have no doubt that you will be on Shark Tank. You will be on Ellen. You will be on o Oprah with OWN. You will be with whatever, who, wherever you want to do it, and whatever you want to be, um, it's yours. It's yours. Yep. I love, yes, yes. Do you all go on tour? Like, have you all been on tour to talk to different groups and crowds and audiences? Well, we used to do, um, well, we don't really go on tour, but we're about to start that. So with some things, we can't really say it now. I know. You guys have to I'm, stay tuned for that, you know? And exactly. especially during COVID, you know, with COVID. Yeah. yeah but, but, you know, we're actually um, have our own kids club. We're starting our kids club. So any kids and stuff can join on. We do fun little events involving the work books and stuff. And you never know, they could win something too, you and know? You get challenges, you get prizes, and stuff like that. It'll be awesome. amazing. Yep. Awesome. Well, I love that. I love that. Listen, do you have any other talents that we don't know about? Do you tap dance? Do you do you sing? Do you play an instrument? Well, we, well, we do. We used to play instruments in our old school. We did violin. I'm very good at um the piano, and he's very good at the drums. And we like to sing together, you know. And we're really good at Muay Thai boxing, karate, and stuff. All that, you know, fighting stuff, you know. Our parents had got us in really, you know, fighting sports, you know, those boxing, Muay Thai, karate, Fight My Girl, all that stuff, basically. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Muay Thai, you were telling me, was like like a, a combination of like boxing and yeah. karate. Yeah, or, yeah we, right? did, we did Krav Maga, Muay Thai, boxing, and karate. And kickboxing. And, kickboxing. and then we did soccer for a few years. Soccer. And we're about to do flag football. We did a lot of things. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Well, listen, I don't know where you find the energy. Do you ever get tired? Like, when do you go to bed? Oh, don't. Oh, my God. You hired mentioned that. We go to bed, like, you know, 
I'm fine. Don't don't tell our parents because when we go to bed like at three o'clock in the morning, you know, you know, we be up watching some TV. <laughs> but you know, on the school days, we have to go to sleep like at ten, you know, nine o'clock. You know, we won't be sleeping. And you know, we really have to go to sleep early because we have a lot of things with school this week, like with the um state test, spelling test. We have a lot of stuff. So you know, we gotta wake up like we have when we go to school. We're hybrid, so we have to wake up like at five forty-five. And then mm-hmm. for our regular school days, we wake up like at 7.48 and then from school, we go to Muay Thai and then we take a shower and then we do our business stuff. And, you know, we relax and we hang out with our dog, you know, we do a fun and thing. And we go to sleep early, so like, we have a lot. Wow. wow. So, so how many hours are you getting asleep a night? Like four or five? Every time I wake up, I still feel tired. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if other people do this, but. Is it just me or when you when you're tired you go in the bathroom right and you put your hands under hot water to wake you up? <laughs> exactly. Oh my god! <laughs> like just the other day, I had to take a shower and then I was so tired I had to spray cold water on my face to wake me up and I, I was do hot so water. tired. I do hot water. It warms me up. So. It wakes me wow. up. You know all this wow. energy in me. Well, well, listen. What 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 does Princeton and Brazil do to relax? Like you're not so doing videos. Me. You're not making movies. You're not doing like, what what do you do to just relax? We play like we feel like Uno, we hang with our parents, watch movies, hang with our dog. Like, we bother our dog. Yeah, we bother our parents and our dog. We, we ride a skateboard, we go to the skate, skate park. park, we go hang out with our friends, you know, we call our friends, we play with the video games. I like to play with Clay. We draw and stuff. With each other, we just talk. We, we just do talk fun about. challenges. No. And then every Saturday I wake up like at Maybe like at nine o'clock, me and my mom, and, and then we'll watch a movie. And, you know, and Brazil and our mom, me and Brazil and our mom would like cook. We would like they would make food for us, and we all sit down at the table, you know, and eat. Wow. Well, listen, I I I have no doubt that that you are going to be on Ellen, and you're going <laughs> to be uh, on on with Oprah, and you're going to be whatever it is that you want to be. Uh, listen, Thank I do you. a little bit. Absolutely. I do a little bit of a word game sometimes. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm just going to give you a word and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. The first word is dream. Um, dream um, amazing. Um, amazing things that's going to accomplish in your life. The near future. Success. Dream big. Wow. wow. I love it. I you love it. You have to accomplish your dream so you can become successful. Your dream, you have to accomplish that dream, right? And that dream, you will achieve that dream. It will come true. And with that, you know, to accomplish a dream. I see it, believe it, achieve it. Yeah, to achieve a dream, you have to dream. You have to think about it. You'd be like, oh, let me just think about it, right? You have to see it come true. You believe in it. You keep pushing and you achieve it. That's it. Simple as that. Make it happen. Yep. (laughs) Listen, my next word is victory victory um like they always say the pot of gold right at the end of the rainbow you know victory you never know when you're all finished with all that hard work victory will come true you know all that thing all that stuff that you did all that hard work you put in at the end of the line it's victory for you the pot of gold (laughs) yes it is yes it is well i listen i I, i'm telling you i have one more word for you um wow the word is vision. Vision. Vision? No. Vision. Use your clear mind to see that vision that you want to achieve and achieve it. By vision the future and vision what do you want to happen in that future? And you never know. That may be thing may work out and you never know. It maybe not work out, but you always want to think positive and make it come true. Make so vision, vision it. True. Vision wow. your success. Vision the things that you want to achieve and then just achieve it. You have to put a lot of hard work, right? You have to put a lot of hard work in that circle. Listen, I'm, listen I have to give a shout out to your mom and dad because you mm-hmm. two are so amazing and phenomenal. And I don't know adults that talk like you do. <laughs> it's Thank a, you. It's amazing. And you're 12 years of age. And, yep. and you're talking like, I love it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Um, you no, know, absolutely. Ab- can you share with us um, what has been the biggest challenge for you to date? 
if you can remember what has been like one of the hardest things that you had to overcome? Well, when we were younger, you know, we start, you know what, we really couldn't like read, you know, because our um, disability, right? But we didn't let that stop us. So, you know what, my mom actually thought of a, um, a solution to that problem. So she said, write a book, right? We started writing books. That's why we're young authors. So we started writing books and we got better at reading. Now we, every time we go to school, we read a book. Every time we come home, we read a book. Now we, now on like online, when we go to school, they be like, they, they, the teachers ask who they want to read. Like we will always write. I always hand. raise my hand. And then we, now I'm we like to write our own books. And I'm very, and I I'm like working on my own book right now. She's working on our own book. And then we're actually working on a book together. You got to stay tuned for that. It's actually going to be a very good book. Oh, I mean, you all are going to be able to own like your own bookstore with just your books. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's amazing. And, 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 and what does writing do for you? Well, how, how do you feel when you write? I mean, well, when you're writing, you have to just think about what you want to write. It's like, it's, it's not really like a script, but you just have to think about what you want to write and just write it down. And it's very relaxing. You have a great imagination when you're writing. Things will just pop up in your mind and then you're just writing an amazing thing. It's very relaxing. And then you're going to be so pleased with yourself when you publish that book. And then you'll be like, oh, amazing. And it doesn't even have to be a book. You have to write songs and stuff, you know? I feel like you want to do it again. And you do it again. Wow. Wow. Listen, you are our, our 12 year old geniuses. You are amazing, phenomenal. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm just grateful that you were able to come on our show and just do and just share your wisdom, share your greatness, share your amazingness with us. And I thank your mom so much for her patience and diligence and just supporting us during this time. I think I'm going to have to have you back. I'm going to have to have you yeah, back and talk about all of your, your new programs and initiatives. All right. Last thing really quick. Favorite food. Favorite food, mine is macaroni, cheese, and oxtail, and pizza. <laughs> okay. And my favorite vegetable is spinach, and my favorite fruit is, um, well, pear and, pear and strawberries. Okay. With me, my favorite food, um, I don't really have a favorite food, but if I had to pick, I might say yams. And uh, my favorite vegetable, I love all vegetables, especially spinach and broccoli. And carrots remind me, I'm a horse, okay? So I like to eat my carrots, okay? And I'm a rabbit, I like to eat my plants. And my favorite fruit is, I like all fruits, and but I don't really like bananas that much, but I love pomegranate too. Pomegranate is good. Oh my goodness. Now you have to make a, a, a cookbook, a, a health book. <laughs> I'm making, actually, I'm making an acoustic poem, actually, and it has fruits and, you know, sweets involved with it. So you have to stay tuned for that. I give you a little clue to that. Wow. Well, I want to ask you this. You all are such an inspiration to all of us, really, all Thank of you. us, the entire world. Who is it that inspires you? Is a there parents. one person or is there a group or there that, what, what, who, who inspires you? Our parents inspire us. They, they push us to do more. They push us to do more than they did. They push us to do more than we're doing now, you know? They keep pushing us and pushing us. My sister pushes me, I push my, I push my sister, you know? Like we always inspire each other and also our followers and our, and our fans is that they always push us, you know? They inspire us to do more. And haters inspire us too. They exactly. Us to do more. Wow, well listen everybody, please follow them. Give us your Instagram name again. Is it at so the... Couple. Um, so you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Dow Twins. Basically, everything is Dow Twins, D O W E Twins. And you can again, buy the workbook at buy the workbook and flashcards at www.dowtwins.com. Make sure to yes. buy it. Yes. Make sure yes. to buy it. www.dowtwins.com. Yes. Bring www.dow twins at Dow Twins. Follow them. Stay connected. Is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to? Anyone you want to speak to? I know your mom and dad are amazing, but you can talk to, but is there anyone else along your journey that has been a support to you that you want to give a shout out to? Um, we want to get a shout out to all our followers. We appreciate you guys so much and our parents too. And we want to thank you so much for having us. And, you know, one more thing. Well, I want to also, we want to give a shout out to our coach who do Muay Thai with us. He pushes, pushes us very hard and he's a very, 
he helps us with our journey. He's he's a very good supporter, and his name is True. Make sure you guys go follow him. Um, Lion, Lion Four. Lion Four. L I O N. L I O N R O A R. Roar. Lions War. He's on my side too. Wow. I can't, I, I can't say any more. I won't keep any longer, Princeton and Brazil. Thank you both so much. You're so amazing. We appreciate you. Is there Thank more you, you so want to share? Thank you so much for having us. Thank you Absolutely. Is there more you want to share with us before we go? Um, yes. Um, tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> I, will, I will tell my mom. She's our show producer. And like I said, we were having some, but guess what? We didn't give up. If you yes, never- Yes, we did not give up. We did not give up. If you don't learn anything else from this broadcast, from these amazing young people, Princeton and Brazil Dow, never give up. No, it might not don't look the best. Don't forget to follow us. No, follow at Dow Twin. Make sure you follow them. This video will be on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube page, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. So anything else you want to share, Princeton and Brazil? Nope, we're good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Listen, you heard it from them first live here. Kristen and Brazil Dow, follow them at Dow Twins, everything, and then www.thedowtwins.com. Stay connected with them, buy their book. Listen, they got a water brand, the entrepreneurs, they got books, they got stuff coming out that we don't even know about. But get ready, stay connected with us. Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We told you we are on Instagram at Pick by Design, at Pick by Design, our uh, uh, nonprofit call to inspire.org. Follow us, call to inspire.org, and as well, Facebook, Troy Alexander, and our YouTube inspiration with Troy Alexander. Thank you so much, Princeton and Brazil. Have a great Thank night, and you. I will have Thank you back. You. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank and you I'm so much for having us. Absolutely. Dream, take that step, and walk with purpose into your destiny. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you so much okay. for having us. Thank you. Thank you.